I'm very sorry for not posting lectures last week. There's been so many midterms, so many battles, so I'm very sorry. So, but now we return back to the work. This week we talk about a very important topic, dense sets and, no, and nowhere dense set. So, definition of a dense set. Definition. A is dense means that for dense in M, metric space M, if for any open set U in M, the intersection of A and M does not equal zero, or does not, is not empty. So you can think of, I, I do not like the idea of uh, into, well, if you want to think about this in an intuitive way, just think of the something being dense, really big. So for example, the rationals are dense in the reals. That's an example, so that's dense sense. There's many more definitions, equivalent definitions dense, but this is one of my favorites. Because in a proof with denseness, you construct, it's usually, you can do many proofs by contradiction. For example, assume that it's not dense. Then there exists an X in the intersection of an open set and um, A and an open set U, where U is open. And you can construct many interesting, you can construct a proof and try to contradict uh, and show that if it's not dense, show you have a contradiction. That, that's many proofs. And that, that's actually one of the easier proofs in mathematics. So there's actually another equivalent definition to denseness in which the closure of a dense set is the, is, the is the metric space. So, but uh, I'm not gonna prove the equivalence. This is just, just, just know that. Oh, by the way, if I make any errors, you should never trust any teacher in general because all teachers lie, they all make errors. So if I say a statement, it may be absolutely wrong. So please, look it up, try to prove it yourself. So, so, yep. So another definition. Nowhere dense. So we talked about dense, but what is nowhere dense? This means that in a set A in a metric space M is nowhere dense if the interior of the closure <coughs> A is empty. So you can think of this as very small. For example, the integers are nowhere dense. The closures of the integers is the integers because the integers are a closed set. And it's the smallest closed set containing the closed set. It's the, it's the set itself. And the interior of the integers, if I draw a close, if I draw an open ball around any integer, it's always still gonna have a real number inside the ball. So, <coughs> the, so the interior of the integers is empty. So, inter so integers, a perfect example of a no ident set. So now we're going to talk about a very important set called Amiga set. Amiga set. Omega set is a countable union of closed, nowhere dense sets. Omega set A, so the set of M. That means F1, F2, dot, 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 Fn, closed, nowhere dense. Sets, then, then A equals the union. 
Now remember, these sets, they have to be countable, the sets. But the sets, the, when I say countable, I mean you can enumerate the sets. However, the sets themselves need not be countable. So, in other words, the MIGA set, even though they're a countable collection of sets, the MIGA set need not be countable. Very important. Very important distinction. Collection may be countable, but each one may not be countable. Very important. So it's a union of countable collection of closed no dense sets. Collection countable, not the set. Now we define a comiga set, or also known as a residual, a comiga set. So if A is miga, A is a subset of M. A residual is M complement A. So another way to think about this is that A can be written as the intersection I equals of a countable collection. I equals one of U I where U each U I is oh let's see to be um, open and dense. So the official definition of a mega set of a dent of a um of residual is that it's a complement of a comega set. But you're killing the saying that A can be written as the what did I see? Yeah. Intersection of a countable number of a countable collection, same thing, countable collection of open and dead sets. Now, two very important equivalences of a very important theorem. This theorem is known as Bayes category theorem. Bayes category theorem. The strict, the harder definition to prove, uh, the harder theorem to prove, are the Bayes category theorem. But these theorem, these theorems are equivalent. Is that a residual set is dense? So the intersection of those countable, that of that countable collection of open and dense sets is still dense. That's important. Another equivalence to the Bayes category theorem or this is equivalently equivalently the metric space M cannot be written as a countable union of nowhere dense sets. So, oh, sorry, of closed nowhere dense sets. So this means that the metric space cannot be written as a mega set. Okay, it's almost 10. So I'm gonna pause it really quick and then start again. <laughs>